everyone and welcome to Discovery College's Open Day. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Tom Lavis. I'm the head teacher here at Discovery College. Um, and let me tell you a little bit about what, what, what you've got in store today um, during our virtual Open Day. So you'll be pleased to know you won't just hear from me. There's going to be lots of opportunities to hear from our former students. Um, alongside them, we have Kirsten, our deputy head, who if you look at the, the bar down to the side here on YouTube, she'll answer all your questions. So feel free to write some questions as this is going live um, and she will get right back to you. The conversation and presentation is probably going to last about 30 minutes. So please stick around. Um, but let me just tell you about the purpose of today. So the first thing is, is to talk about life at Discovery College, um, because we are very proud to say we are not a school. Um, it's an adult environment. And I think our students will be talking throughout this presentation about what they think of Discovery and how it's different. It's also important for you to learn about your courses, um, what you're picking, what level they are, what they could lead into in terms of your destination and progression. I think is really important. Then you can get to a chance to meet our tutors, um, probably some of the most caring and professional tutors you'll ever have the pleasure of meeting. Um, so I'll talk, talk my way through that and, and give you some names to faces. Ultimately, this is about preparing for September. So I know we can't look around the college at the moment, um, but we're certainly going to give you a good virtual tour today. And then predominantly towards the end of this presentation, we're going to give you a great opportunity for some, some question and answers. So as I said, if there's any questions as you're going through, just type them in the comments box below or to the side of the screen and Kirsten will pick them up for you. Today really is about helping you make a, a, a good decision. Um, I don't want to force any student or young person into doing something they don't want to do, or that's not going to lead them into a more prosperous and positive future. So why would you choose discovery? Um, and there's a question I get asked uh, regularly. Um, discovery is not a school. And it's very important to be aware of that. We pride ourselves on our adult environment um, and not being just a chalk and talk. The things you learn within the classroom environment is so important that you put them into good use. So for me, you know, the chalk and talk part will take place, but it's, it's infrequent. And what you do learn, you'll put into action. Probably one of the other big benefits we find is first name basis. Everyone at the college um, speaks to everyone else, including staff, by their first name. There's very few careers other than the public services, might I add, nowadays, that use second name, surname basis. So having a first name basis is one of the first kind of stepping stones for you preparing for adult life and the world of work, being work ready. Um, we've talked about kind of how we take that classroom environment and put it into, uh, into the real world. I think that includes things like bells and buzzers. You know, it's very rare um, within the work environment where a bell goes off every hour and you pack up your bag and you walk halfway across your workplace um, and then unpack your bag again and, and do some other type of work activity. Really, the world of work is much more fluid than that. So here at Discovery, we have a fluid timetable. So you won't see bells and buzzers. Staff will change breaks and lunches on a daily basis because if you're working well at an activity, why stop it because a bell goes off? And I think that's really important for you. Moving on, I think I could sit here all day telling you about how great this place is, but I also think it's important that you hear it from those people who have been through the journey with us um, and have come out the other side. So I feel it's really important at this stage, and I'm just checking he's coming online. I've got Tom Buttress joining us now. Um, I'm just going to have a quick Q&A with Tom. Tom's one of our ex-students who has been through the discovery system and is currently at university himself, who's kindly um, given up his time this afternoon to speak to us. So just want to check that Tom's coming in. Yes. And here he comes. So welcome, Tom. Um, thank you for joining us this afternoon for this uh, good, good kind of catch up, really, for me and you as you're an ex-student. Um, and I had the pleasure of teaching you myself. Um, Tom, you've obviously gone through the discovery system um, and moved on into new ventures, shall we say. Could you just, for the benefit of, of the young people watching, just tell me about your experiences at Discovery College? Um, absolutely. So I did the level three business course um, and I was there for two years um, of my last two years of sixth form. Um, I loved the course so much. It was so practical, hands on. 
Um, although there is classroom activities, there are also a lot to go out and explore. You do business tasks where you actually get to grow your business skills and utilize them. And it gave me the skills I now needed for my future. And what are you doing now, Tom, if you don't mind me asking? Um, I'm now in, moving into my third year at Plymouth University doing international business with a high 2-1 first moving into my final year of that. Well done. Sounds like you're working hard. Thank you. Tom, what other things are you doing alongside your course? Um, so I'm a trustee of a local charity that I've joined since leaving uh, Discovery College. Um, I do a lot of extracurricular activities. Um, I help run a student newspaper at Plymouth Uni. Um, I work for a charity, a society called Enactus, where we um, run student-led enterprises and the ways that they benefit the local community. Um, I'm also involved in a lot of the social side of societies with uni and organizing the events with them. Tom, just, just as, as my memory recalls, you, you actually started post-16 at school, is that right? Yeah, so I um, originally was going to do A-levels um, after a not so good, <clears throat> after a not so good GCSE results. Um, I did a level two course at another local provider. And then at the end of that year, my teacher recommended Discovery College to me. I came and had a interview and a bit of a look around with yourself. And I just knew it was better because the A-levels were all classroom activities and exams. It's not somewhere I personally do very well in. Yeah, yeah. I mean, for you then, you've got a really good opportunity to talk about the differences between school and life at Discovery. So what were they for you? <clears throat> so the best thing about the difference in Discovery and school is always at school, I always felt like I was another number on a bit of paper. At Discovery, all the teachers always knew my name. Granted, I'm big guy as well. <laughs> um, <laughs> but also, every teacher knows you and you're more of an individual than just a person or another number on a bit of paper. And they do truly care for you. Um, your own development and not just getting doing well in the exams but also doing well in your personal life and they do truly care for you something which I felt was a lot more at Discovery College than at school in my personal opinion. Tom there's going to be a, a, a lot of young people who are watching this um, and they're about to make decisions for their, their kind of next step shall we say so post 16 you know what would you say to any potential student? I think the best thing is, is do look into all of your options. Um, although you might just be recommended A-levels, there are other options um, and there are better options at times. I prefer Discovery College because it had no exams, which are, or very little exams, I should say, sorry, um, which I preferred because I don't personally do well in them. But also it's a lot more hands on the course. You learn your business skills, then get to put them in place. Um, I've been told from people who I know who did A-level business. Um, that it was all book work and it didn't actually give them the time to explore. That's both people I've met before I came to uni, but also at uni. Um, they developed these skills, but they never got to utilize them. So I'd recommend looking at all of the options and being aware of what's out there. Tom, thank you for that. And also thank no you for joining us this afternoon. I really appreciate it. Um, no I have very fond memories of teaching you myself. Thank you so very much. Great, great sense of pride to, to see what you're doing now and the kind of voluntary stuff you're doing as well. Um, and from myself and everyone at Discovery, we wish you all the very best in the future. Thank um, you very much. A stranger. Um, as I say many times in the past, you know, once you're a Discovery, you're Discovery family for life. So we're please pop back here in the not too distant future um, and come with us and tell us what you're getting up to. All right. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks Tom. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. So let's talk about our courses rather than hearing from me. Let's take a look at some short clips by our tutors, which tells you all about the courses of your choosing. Enjoy. So I'm John Harris, the head of the sports course at Discovery College. Um, we run a level two and a level three in sports. Uh, the level three is equivalent to three A levels, the level two is equivalent to four GCSEs. On completion of the course, um, the level two is a progressional course onto our level three course, whereas the level three course is progressional into our apprenticeships or universities. Um, we have a very large uptake for our university, uh, from our courses onto our university courses. Um, the course is very practical, as you would expect. Um, we have a sort of 60-40 mix in terms of theory to practical. Um, 
where the students do a host of different units and courses across the two years. Um, there's courses from sports injuries, um, sports business, sports development, fitness testing, fitness training. So they're always sort of doing something practical. We like to link in with a lot of local businesses and we'd like to get the students out and about as much as possible. Um, due to the nature of the course being very vocational, the students have to do a lot of work off-site. So we go to a lot of businesses and look to do some practical experience with them. So the level three is a two year course. In the first year they do seven units, second year they do seven units. Um, like we've had a lot of students progressing to the university as we said, but a lot of students have gone abroad as well and do various things. Uh, one thing we're looking to post is a lot of apprenticeships. So they're getting bigger now with our students going to Mountbatten and doing apprenticeships and outdoor ed. But the students going to a business admin university, and uh, sorry, at Marjorie's University doing apprenticeships. Gym instructors, lifeguard apprenticeships as well. Um, if you enjoy doing PE at school, this will be a good experience for you because we offer the PE as an extended lesson throughout the day. So you'll be doing it for six hours in that day. Um, the six hours could be split up between classroom sessions in the morning or it could be practical sessions in the afternoon. So rather than doing sort of your one hour standard lesson or two hours a week, you'd be getting sort of six hours a day, but that's gonna be extended. So if you have an enjoyment in sport, obviously it's a good thing to do. I'm Claire and I teach the, uh, the level three and technical diploma in childcare and education level three. The uh, technical diploma um, involves, it's a two year course, um, so the first year um, students will undertake the certificate um, and the second year they will undertake the diploma um, in which um, there are a mixture of workplace assessments and um, written theory. Okay, so once students have completed their level three um, technical diploma, um, because it has UCAS points attached to it, it will give them a career path um, into university, um, into early years, uh, primary teaching, um, or they can, once they've done their um, teaching qualification, that will then, they then actually can take um, career paths into um, children with additional needs, um, speech and language. Also, um, they can also get a job in nurseries um, as a level three uh, practitioner, early years educator. Um, they can also get a job in a school as a TA, um, or they can either work in children's centres as well. Okay, so um, students are in college three days a week, um, and that's basically where we learn the theory part of the qualification. Um, and then students are required to be in placement two days a week where the theory that they've learned, they will be able to then put into practice and um, the assessor would then go out and observe them putting that theory into practice. Um, we're not always stuck in the classroom, um, so um, with regards to childcare, we try and get them out, we try and do um, forest school, which is eight door learning for children. Um, we also have extracurricular activities so at the end of the year, we reward the students with an end of year trip. Um, and we just try and get them out as much as we can um, throughout the year. My name is Luke uh, Reardon and I teach on the business course. Um, we do the business extended diploma here, which is uh, equivalent to three A levels. Um, it's a very, very good course to be on, um, not in terms of just the work itself, because uh, you learn a lot uh, in terms of the studies that you do and the assignments that you do, but also that how much learning you do outside of the classroom. So in terms of the business side, we get to go out on a lot of trips, um, to see a lot of businesses and how they work. Uh, you do a lot of challenges uh, within the, within the, the course. Um, uh, you know, improving things on presentations and working on money skills and finance skills, um, as well as creating your own products and things like that. Uh, all very much skills that you need in business. Um, and in terms of the exams, uh, there are two exams on the course, so there is a little bit of pressure on the students, but over, overall they really do take to that. I think they, uh, they learn from that. 
So the course is uh, designed for any student really from 16 to 18 year old. I don't think you need a pathway. Um, I think it's good to have an open mind uh, coming onto the business course. Uh, many of the students that we have have no idea what they want to do. Um, but business opens those channels for people. Um, it's a very good thing to get into because you can take business into pretty much any domain. So if you're interested in sport, you can do business in sport. If you're interested in childcare, you can do business in childcare by managing a child centre. Um, if you're interested in working in a pub, you can manage a pub and do business in that way. So in terms of the course itself and what it's got to offer people, it's got to offer a huge amount, uh, especially with people that have different pathways and so forth. Um, so I wouldn't particularly say it's got anybody needs to have a, an idea or yeah business course I need to do this come and do the business course and then see where you would go with that um, and you might surprise yourself My name's Tracy, I teach health and social care level twos and threes, the extended diploma and the BTECs. Um, it's a variety of different units that they would choose um, based on the areas that you would be working in for those, obviously for those who want to be progressing to student nursing, um, also student apprenticeships. Uh, the units are a variety of units, like I said, so it would be things like they would be learning about dementia, they would be learning about so sociology and psychology as well, which is a big part of health and social care itself. Um, they will be touching on areas such as, obviously, anatomy and physiology. Um, so there's all different mixtures of units and there's units that are knowledge based as well as exams so they will have four exams within the qualification that they would sit. Uh, there's a variety of different career pathways that students can go into. I mean at the moment I've got students that are applying for adult nursing. I've also got students that are applying for uh, apprenticeships. So that's with either a hospital setting, um, like Mount Goat Hospital, or they're just generally going into care settings that are around Plymouth, so more of residential care homes. Um, so like I said, we have a bit of a mixture of our course at the moment of areas that they want to go into. Um, and like I said, it, it can be uh, nursing, midwifery, um, we've got students that want to be paramedics, um, social care workers that's working with adults as well as children. Um, so it's not just what people assume it's elderly care, it's just a variety of different units in this qualification most have a starting point for them to be progressing on. So more of the practical trips would be things like going out to um, maybe a uh, Liberal Southwest, which is a big organisation. Um, also we've been to Haven Care, which is a recruitment agency, so they would go through the recruitment process. They would actually do application forms whilst they're there and they would learn about what the different areas that they care that they can work into. Uh, so, you know, it's a variety of different people that we can get into and local communities as well that we can support as well. So obviously, you know, going out to places like maybe St Luke's and doing some of the workshops out there as well. Hello, my name is Teresa and I teach the Level 2 First Diploma in Travel and Tourism at Discovery College. There is a variety of different units covered over the year, giving the students a really good insight into the industry and allowing them progression into possible apprenticeships with many different organisations such as travel agents, tour operators, accommodation providers and transport providers. Or if they want, they can actually continue with their studies into the Level 3 certificate. The units give a, a really good insight into things like the UK, European and worldwide destinations. We also look at customer service, planning holidays, even organising their very own study visit. They look at man-made and natural factors that affect the industry and the units are a good mixture of theory and practical tasks with two exams that also have to be sat. The course has been made up of a variety of units covering many topics which will be an excellent starting point for many of the careers in the industry. We also cover working in the industry and marketing which introduces students to different career paths or study progression as it makes them aware that there are many employment opportunities, especially here in the southwest, other than the usual choices of travel agents, holiday rep or cabin crew. 
On the practical side, we have been on visits to Dartmoor and have had talks from a ranger about the sustainability of the local moors and also combined visits to local attractions such as Splashdown Key West, where we have fun but also look at how visitor attractions operate and promote themselves. And we are very fortunate that here in the southwest there are many more attractions that we can visit within a few hours. There is also a great opportunity for every student to complete work experience in a travel and tourism setting and we fully prepare them by helping them complete application forms, their CVs and even practice their interview techniques. Hello, my name is Becky Ann and I'm Principal with Italia Conti and we will be working alongside Discovery College Plymouth with the BTEC in Performing Arts. Throughout the two year course on this one we will be studying all genre of performing arts. So acting, dancing, musical theatre and all general aspects of the performing arts. The modules will be combined with practical and theory and will be covering technique, performance, anything that goes alongside any of the performing arts. The course will be delivered in association with Italia Conti, one of the oldest stage schools in the world and all teachers will have professional experience so you will be gaining skills and knowledge from many West End performers, company teachers, company members and again we'll be teaching you from the ground upwards. On completion of this two year course you will be well placed to audition for various higher education courses such as BA Acting, BA Musical Theatre, many of the performing arts universities and professional stage schools at entry level. Throughout the course you will be exploring all styles of the performing arts, so performing in front of an audience, learning how to choreograph, also collaborative projects throughout Plymouth, learning how to survive in the business so with self-promotion and how to network safely. Also will help you with planning your career in an industry. You don't just have to be famous, there are many options you can take. Having been principal with Italia Conti for nearly 20 years, we've got many, many students that have graduated and are still working on the West End, around the world, on the cruise ships, performing. We have some gone into directing, some working behind the scenes. So there are many different options and with this qualification, we will get you an entry level to any one of these aspects of the performing arts. With all the teachers having performed professionally and some still working professionally in the industry, we can provide the very best of training to start your career in the performing arts. And we look forward to engaging with you all and starting you on your exciting journey within the performing arts world. Hi, my name's uh, Ryan Gardner. Um, I'm a public service tutor here at Discovery College. Public services for me is sort of a stepping stone for any student wishing to go into the military, um, the British Armed Forces, I said the emergency services, uh, even for those that want to go into university. So for me, I look at the course as a, as a great all-rounder. So to help students with full-time employment, CVs, interview technique, uh, physical preparation for the armed forces, um, for me it's, as I said, a great all-rounder and as I said, a great stepping stone for any student wishing to go into the British Armed Forces. So not only sort of the Armed Forces, as I said there's emergency services, so giving the students experience of the police, the ambulance service and the fire service, um, and also, as I said, a good stepping stone to university. You know, students here can earn enough UCAS points uh, to move on to university. And as I said, there's courses about opening their eyes to as many pathways as possible. Not to have your heart set on one because you never know, you know, setbacks, there's physical requirements, there's medicals during sort of, uh, the armed forces. Um, but as I said, 
it's, there's many pathways as possible. So as I said, university, full-time employment, um, apprenticeships, wherever the student wants to go, that's where we want to help them. Um, so yes, yeah, so possible trips, uh, or trips that can happen for uh, public service students are maybe going down to sort of Stonehouse Barracks, working with the Royal Marines. Uh, there's a lot of sort of Royal Marine open days where it gives the students that sort of experience and it opens their eyes to a whole new, whole new world and showing them motivation, disciplined, um, enthusiastic individuals, it sort of rubs off. It's not just the tutors, it's working with professionals also that are currently in, in those roles. So as I said, working with the Royal Marines, the Royal Navy, the RF, the Army will come in and do a lot of team building exercises. Um, and as I said, again, trying to give the student as many experiences as possible. We can go off to sort of military bases. Um, when we get the clearance, we can go down to sort of Mill Bay uh, and work with sort of six rifles, who again will do a lot of sort of teamwork, looking at weapons, communication equipment, and so on. Welcome back. Hopefully you enjoyed the videos. Um, and thanks to the tutors for putting them together. It was great to see some of our current and former students in them. And probably finally, um, and the same with any school or college really, maths and English. And I'm sure now you've heard a lot of uh, teachers say over the last couple of years how important maths and English is. Um, and sadly, I'm going to really reinforce that to you. So I'm sorry if um, I'm repeating something you've heard many times before. But it's probably one of the first questions any uh, future employer would ask you. Maths and English, you know, if you don't quite get it in school um, in terms of your GCSE, i.e. the, the magical uh, grade four and above, please don't worry. There's still a course here for you at Discovery um, and we will work with you uh, to try and booster and bolster those grades um, up to that magic grade four and above. So again, if you don't quite do in your GCSEs this year, doesn't mean you haven't got your course with us. It just means we need to work alongside you, support you to try and continue working on your maths and English courses. Now I've mentioned the kind of subjects that we deliver here at Discovery, but it's also worth noting the levels. So all those courses we've just talked about um, are fortunate that we run at level two and level three. Level two, just so you know, is equivalent to GCSEs grade A to C or four and above. And therefore, if you don't quite get those those GCSEs this year, that would be your start point um, with us, a level two course. All our level two courses are a year long and natural progression on completion of that, which no doubt with our support you will complete um, and achieve. Natural progression there is moving on to our level three courses. All our level three courses here at Discovery are two years long. They're equivalent to three A levels. So if you have um, any aspiration of moving on to, to university, then we can certainly help get you there. And we have, as Tom mentioned earlier, you know, many, many student examples of, of young people that have gone on to university. So just be aware it's over a longer period of time, two years, um, but you know, it will get you to where you wanna to go to. You don't have to go to university, obviously, there are lots of careers and, and high level apprenticeships you could also pursue. And I think our, our deputy head Kirsten is gonna pick them up a bit later with you. So you've heard a little bit about our courses, and now I think probably the most important thing is to hear about them from someone, again, who's been through the system. I'm gonna introduce you to a video from Luke Francis. He's one of our ex-public service students. Um, and this is a great way to see um, what somebody who's been through our, our college here has gone on to. So please enjoy your time with Luke. So I'm Luke. Uh, I studied my level three uh, public services qualification at Discovery College. So since uh, leaving Discovery College, uh, I went to full-time uh, full uh, as a lifeguard at Plymouth Life Centre uh, and then after, be, after being there for three years uh, I joined the Royal Navy as a uh, defence medic. So I knew I wanted to join the services of, of some sort, sort or form, uh, originally police because uh, I wasn't that fit um, and then once, once I realised I was, I was fit enough to join the services I, uh, I applied for the Royal Navy. So Discovery College stood out massively uh, when I went for my interview process over at um, Plymouth City College. Uh, it seemed like the staff there just were quite sort of almost like robots. Whereas uh, when I was interviewed by um, Gary Menzies at the time, probably about what, seven years ago now, uh, he you could tell uh, that he was passionate about what he did and that he cared about the students and cared what students come to the college. And that for me was just like the extra tick in the boxes to why I wanted to go to Discovery College instead of anywhere else. To put it into simple context, it, it, it was the best two years of my life. Uh, if I could go back in time, I'd do it all over again. It's, it's without a doubt the best college and the best course I could have possibly done. Uh, I've learnt, learnt so much. 
Uh, even, even now, uh, I still use some of the stuff I've learned over at Discovery College in my career now. Um, and if it wasn't for these guys, uh, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't be stood here in this uniform now. So discipline, uh, drill, um, land navigation, uh, which what I did at HM Friday during my phase one uh, initial training. Um, and massively, so fitness and, and learning uh, how the body functions, uh, which is a massive key part through the public services course. So the, uh, the staff at Discovery College were uh, all absolutely phenomenal. It was, it was down, down, to, down to them and, and, and how passionate they were towards me and towards the course. Um, it, it, they're the reason why, why I enjoyed it so much. Um, I think I was the only kid that ever said, I can't wait to go to, to, go to college tomorrow. They will always go the, the extra mile without being asked to. Uh, they are the best at their jobs that I've ever known. Uh, even through going through military training, uh, most of the military instructors that I've known have absolutely nothing on these guys. These are the cream of the crop and they are the best that they do at the business and that's what that's why Discovery College is the best discovery is the best college that you can go. Well, that was great to hear uh, from Luke and to hear about all the great things he's gone on to do as well um, in his life. He will always be welcome back. So hopefully you enjoyed it as much as I did. I think now is a good time to start moving on and talking about our staff team here at Discovery. I'm very fortunate to be surrounded by some fantastic uh, members of staff um, who on a daily basis go above and beyond for our students. Um, and, you know, I'll introduce you to Kirsten a bit later, our deputy head. Um, but similarly to me, she's very passionate about ensuring that you get the best experience with us while you're here. As you can see up on the screen now, you know, I'm joined by a, a host of people um, and it'd be worth you familiarising yourself with these staff members because each one of these will be connected in some way to one of your courses. Um, but I just want to highlight one or two people in particular. I've mentioned Kirsten, the deputy head, who will be online later with us um, talk, talking about careers in your futures. I also want to point out Nicole. Nicole's our student liaison officer. She's a bit like the college counsellor, really. She's the lady you can turn to at any time. If you're not comfortable speaking to your tutor, myself or Kirsten, Nicole's there on a day-to-day -day basis to make sure that you get the support you need. If you're worried, you're concerned, whether that's academic, whether it's about issues at home in life, she's a great person for you to go and spend some time with. She'll usually make you a cup of tea, just so you know, um, and just offload some of life's problems um, because often by doing that, it allows your journey through education to be a little bit easier. In terms of subject leads and specialists, you can see on the screen, we have our head of sport, John, uh, head, of, head of public services, Mark, head of the childcare faculty, which is Claire there, and also head of business, Luke. So just familiarise yourself with some of these people. And then on the next screen, we have our tutors as well. Um, and I'd like to introduce you to Alex. He's new to our team this year, but got a great history and background um, and pedigree, may I add, in his, in his area of specialism. So you'll notice him as a new addition. So if there's any students coming back to us this year, um, Alex will be part of the team. I'd also like to welcome Carrie Ann, our, our new teaching assistant to the team. Again, you'll spot her around. So any of the staff you're seeing here are really friendly and approachable. So don't ever be shy to talk to them. They're, they're very used to new people coming in um, and trying to work out where they are and what they're doing. So feel free to just pop up to them, ask them questions. You'll find they're lovely people um, and they're here to support you at the end of the day. So, um, yeah, great team. We're very fortunate and you'll experience them for yourself very soon. And I'm sure as you heard in, in kind of Luke's um, video in Tom's interview with me earlier, you know, they speak very highly of our staff. So I think that speaks volumes really in terms of their above and beyond mentality. Now, I think it's time to, to have a little look around the building. Um, please just sit back, relax, look through the kind of virtual tour that's going to come up now um, and it will help you kind of get some bearings before you come here, especially those young people who haven't had a chance to have a tour themselves. Um, so have a look around and enjoy. Thanks.
Okay, so hopefully that gives you a bit of a flavour of, of what Discovery College looks like um, and give you a bit of bearings when you're moving around. As you can see, it's not a standard kind of school environment, so hopefully you appreciate that. Um, but again, nearer the time, you'll be welcome to come in and have a look around with myself personally or one of your tutors. So next step really for us is talk about a typical day at Discovery College. Um, your usual days are quite similar to school. You know, they start at nine o'clock, they finish about three, three fifteen. I suppose the, the, the kind of key change there from what you might be used to within a school environment, but very normal within a work environment, is life does go on after three o'clock. So please be aware of that. Um, every day here at Discovery um, after three o'clock, we do study support sessions. And this is a real uh, kind of important opportunity for you um, to utilize if you are struggling with your work, you're falling a little bit behind, or you just want some extra tuition from your tutor, then we have rooms available, IT suites available that you can go into at the end of the day and continue working on your assignments or any tasks you've been doing. So again, it gets you into really good habits um, and prepares you more for the world of work, which stereotypically could be nine till five. So just getting you, you kind of more work ready, should we say. Lessons um, will vary massively compared to school. You could be having lessons that are 45 minutes long, the next one could be an hour and a half. The best thing, as I said to you earlier in this, this kind of presentation today, was that it's a fluid timetable. Um, and the best way to describe it is if you were working on a task, as you would be within the work environment, and you were doing really well, and there was lots of productive conversations and lots of positive outcomes, then why stop that presentation when, you know, it's 10 o'clock? So what I mean by fluid time here was if your tutors are watching you and you're doing something great, just keep going. Keep going until that task is finished. The flip side of a fluid timetable, if you're working really, really hard on something, but you just can't crack it, then that does happen to everybody at times in their life. OK, down tools, go and get some fresh air, go and have a drink, have something to eat, you know, refresh the mind. And then that will then give you the opportunity to go back in 10, 15 minutes and try again. So as you can see, it's far more fluid with what you're doing as opposed to 9 till 10, 10 to 11, 11 till 12, where you're moving around every hour. So, you know, days at college are very different. Each day will be different because of the fluid timetable, but it's certainly going to prepare you more for the world of work. So now I've talked about a typical day at college. I think the next step for me is to kind of hand over. Um, I'm going to pass you over to Kirsten, our deputy head here at Discovery. She's going to be talking to you um, a lot more about advice and guidance on offer at the college because she provides plenty. And also kind of next steps where students in the past have gone on to and what you could go on to. Because for us, it's so important. We are just part of your journey. We're not the end result. So you use us um, to help you along on your journey and hopefully go on to be really really successful people so hand over to Kirsten. Thank you so much Tom. Hello everyone I'm Kirsten Deputy Head at Discovery College and thank you so much for joining us. I'm here in the staff office at Discovery College and this is where you'll find us when we're not teaching. Students are welcome to knock on the door and to come in and see us if we can help you with anything. It's important that you know where the office is and you'll see that as part of your tour during your induction period. A couple of areas I look after in the college are the advice and guidance. This is a really important part of being a student with us. And to start with, you will have support through your interview, um, through the induction period, just really making sure that this is the right course for you. And we are here to support you with that. If you have any concerns at all, please let me know. Following your induction, you're going to start your course and throughout your course, you will receive advice and support and guidance from us. So this could be from guest speakers coming in from industry to talk to you about opportunities and careers. It will also include going out to visit businesses and employers throughout the region. And this will give you a really great opportunity to see the industries working, the sort of jobs that you'll be doing after you've finished at Discovery College. So this is really useful for you to help you make really good decisions when you leave. As well as meeting with employers, we will also have interactions with universities, with people who offer apprenticeships and also um, full time employment opportunities in all sorts of different areas. 
So there are great opportunities for that to, for you to gather as much information as you can to get some really good careers advice. Also, as part of this support, we will look at interview skills. We will look at CV writing. So when you finish your time at Discovery College, you're going to have a really good career portfolio to take forward and to look for some really good opportunities. We're really fortunate at Discovery College that we have had students that have progressed onto some really great, great things. And you'll see from the diagram on the presentation some of the areas people have gone into. Our students leaving this year again have got um, really great pathways, universities, apprenticeships and also further education courses. And there will be lots and lots of support to help you get there. So you'll be one of those people on that plan, just demonstrating and showing off what you have gone on to do once you've left us. We're always here to support you. So just now, before I hand you back to Tom and say goodbye for now, uh, we are just going to hear from one of our former students, Laggy Tuimai, who is going to tell you about her time at Discovery College. My name is Langi Langi Twima. I studied BTEC Level 3 Sports. Since uh, leaving Discovery College, I've had the pleasure to join Exeter University. I, I, now, I now study a three-year course in sports science. And what intrigued me about the college was it was uh, coursework and it was very much practical. I like to think that I'm, that's the best way I learn. That's um, what I'm interested in. I've always had a passion for sport and, uh, and that's what Discovery College gave back to me. I think Discovery College summarises everything uh, everything that I know now as a person, um, the enjoyment, the fun, uh, the learning aspect of, as well. Uh, it's no secret that sometimes you wake up every morning and you say, oh my God, do I have to do this, do that? Um, but when you're surrounded by the staff, the peers that I had, um, like you always look forward to it. I've had the pleasure to, to represent England in under 18s, 20s, and now fortunate enough to play with the seniors. Uh, I believe the support system here at Discovery College has allowed me to do that, um, not only on the pitch, but off the pitch as well. Um, the college itself helps promote healthy lifestyle, um, and we learn that in some of the courses that we do, that it's essential for that. Uh, I've been lucky enough to, to obviously represent the country, and something that I'm very proud of, um, but I couldn't have done it without the people here. Um, obviously, I have a small circle of family, friends, and whatnot. But um, looking back now, it's been almost overwhel like overwhelming. I can't quite explain that or describe that yet because I'm still on this journey. Um, but the journey has definitely started whilst being at Discovery College, and it's something that um, will continue to happen, I believe. I'm sure I speak for more than one person about this, this college in particular. Um, you won't find another and I for one can definitely hold my hand up and say like they've um, had an impact on my life um, and they've helped with all the encouraging words and um, words of wisdom for sure like they've allowed myself and other students who have come and yet to, to experience Discovery College to excel in whatever they choose to. If I was to choose one word it would be togetherness, there's a real, I remember coming in for my interview and just a sudden urge of like togetherness. It is a family and that's not, he's not just saying that for the sake of it, but once you experience it, you know for sure like that is definitely up there in what this, the college has to offer and what it represents. Wow, it was so good to hear um, about Laggy and her experiences and we wish her best of luck in her future. It sounds like she's doing really, really well. Um, I'd also like to thank uh, Kirsten, um, who gave you a really good oversight there in terms of the kind of advice, information, guidance you can get here at Discovery, as well as kind of next steps uh, for you to go on to. So thank you, Kirsten, and all the students who have joined us today to tell us about their, their experiences and journey with us. So what happens now? And I think as we come towards the end of this presentation, it's, it's important that you kind of start to make some decisions. This was all about giving you a, a look behind the scenes of discovery. And if it's something you think that's for me, brilliant. And, and like I say, go on our website. You can click on apply now. Or if you're still not sure and you've got a few more questions, either type them below or, or write to us. Email us at info at discoverycollege.org.uk. So on one final note, thank you so much for joining us today. I hope you've enjoyed your uh, look at life and tour of Discovery College. Everyone here at Discovery is wishing you all the very best. Uh, please keep safe um, and we look forward to seeing you all in September. Bye, take care.